What is going on, my friends, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, I want to give you a quick update on Jasmine just to kind of follow up on yesterday's video because some important moves have now happened. Now, looking at Jasmine, what we can see is that in the last video, we spoke about this 0.375 level. I said, hey, listen, you need to be watching this level incredibly closely because what's happening right now is that Jasmine is currently doing something called a back test. Now, a back test is quite simply just whenever a crypto loses a point of support generally or resistance, but we'll talk about support, loses support, goes back up and decides if it truly wants to lose support and, you know, and continue to the downside, or if it's going to re-clear that support and continue back upwards. This is a back test. It's just going back and testing it basically. And I told you, if Jasmine fails this back test, we could see its price now start to reach towards the bottom side, which could be three cents, right? We could see Jasmine's price start to look to continue downwards, what easily could be another 10 to 20% towards the downside. Now, what we noticed is that in the last 24 hours, Jasmine did indeed fail that back test. We saw Jasmine's price come back up, retry it. It actually cleared it for a second, but this is a range, right? Like this isn't just going to be an individual line. This is just a range of liquidity in general. And you can see here that right here, if we just go ahead and move this up a little bit, that was the level that Jasmine we ran into. This is the Jasmine where this is the level that Jasmine failed to reclear, establishing this back test as a failure. Now you can't count it out just yet because it does seem as if there's a possible little structure forming here, right? We could have a cup and handle pattern forming. We could be in the early stages of you know other reversal patterns. And so because of that, I'm not going to immediately say that Jasmine is now heading towards three cents, but the likelihood is much higher. And when I say much higher, I mean way higher. Like if on the back test we had like a 50% chance, we're probably down to like a 25 percent chance. And so although there is that 25% chance we do something like this and then look to continue upwards, that uh, the odds are diminishing the longer this thing goes. And if at any given point we see Jasmine's price come back down and obviously lose 0.34, right, losing support here, we're most likely headed towards these lower levels, right? We are most likely going to see Jasmine's price pull back and you just need to be aware that that's on the way. Okay. And so because of that, what I just wanted to tell you today is that our likelihood of seeing this push back to the upside just got a lot smaller. It's there. It's just gotten a lot smaller. And you need to be mentally prepared for the fact that Jasmine could see a fall of 10 to 20% over the next coming weeks here. And that's okay. I will personally be dollar cost averaging. That is my plan. I want more Jasmine. I don't feel like I have enough. So I will be buying some more if that does happen. But at the end of the day, there's no way we can control it. We just need to sit back and watch and be ready to go if that does happen. Now, under the circumstance that Jasmine's price does roll back upwards, create some pattern, create you know a bottoming out pattern, like a cup and handle pattern or something like that. Yeah, I might honestly go long on Jasmine, expecting a continuation to the upside. But again, that's just not what is the most likely right now. And so until something like that starts to show signs of playing out, I will continue to just give you a warning that Jasmine might get a little ugly here and it is okay. It's not a big deal. It's a normal cool down, a normal pullback, and it's not something I am worried about whatsoever. So of course, you guys know that I like to update you guys as often as I possibly can about Bitcoin, Jasmine, Solana, Render, meme coins, much more. If you do enjoy that content, you can always let me know by liking this video so more people see it and subscribing to the channel if you are new here. But I will see you all very soon. I have a couple more videos dropping today, so stay tuned for those, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.